So yeah, we'll be getting started in just a little while, everybody. We'll be getting started between the four-minute mark and five-minute mark on the stream timer down below. So get yourself strapped in. We'll be getting started in just a little while. Yeah. It's been a good while since I've played this game, though. I think it is working. I only know when someone in chat tells me. There we go. Hey Shadow, how are you doing, man? Good. Yay, I can be seen, yay. Yeah. yeah it's been a good while since I played Fallout 4, but I remember I remember what to do and everything. Might see if I can fix my camera here in a little bit. Be right back. There we go. You gotta wake up at six tomorrow? Why is that, man? Well, you gotta wake up so early, man. Wake up do that for. But yeah, my camera was a little crooked, so I had to fix that. Class. Mm. Let me know how it goes, man. You know, I'm only a message away on uh, Discord. At 8.30. God dang. Exactly. What are you going to do? Make yourself like some coffee or have like an energy drink or something? Man, I'm going to tell you, if it wasn't for certain energy drinks when I was in college. Oh, my God. <laughs> coffee. Yeah, I figured. When I was in college, though, coffee was like my number one beverage I went to when I needed to do my, uh, my big class work assignments. Um, well, homework assignments, but in college it's called classwork. <laughs> but, um, in terms of like staying awake, man, though, that was when I used to quote unquote pump myself with the, with the monster energy back then. It was absolutely insane. Also, even though it's technically a new day, yesterday, I got to see my mom and her boyfriend, and we went and got ourselves a fancy dinner, and I had a really nice slice of very expensive cake, <laughs> so I'm glad I got to see my mom, even though it wasn't on my birthday exactly, I got to see her, give her her present, and also make her feel special, because she didn't have a good birthday, sadly, so... I got to see her, we got to talk like equals, and we're doing good. Yeah, we went to a very fancy restaurant. It was, we, I had a nice uh, New York strip steak with some uh, five-year um, aged cheddar uh, grits with them and oh my god those things were so good um and i had a nice um bullet rye whiskey on the rocks uh mixed with some diet coke because health reasons um it was a wonderful time and i also found out that my mom is trying to get me a soda stream and funnily enough she knew that I was trying to find one because I don't know what it is about like having like seltzer water or slash sparkling water it helps sometimes when you just don't want to have regular water but uh yeah 
that's one of those things when I was telling you that me and my mom have this weird type of mental connection because I told her a while back and then I also reminded her today I was like well yesterday I was like yeah I'm still having issues with finding the right soda stream and literally she pulled out a card out of her purse for my birthday and it literally said you know of course happy birthday and it said that my present is currently stuck in Arizona <laughs> and I'm like did you just try to get me a fucking soda stream for my birthday and it's, and it's late and she was laughing and th this has always been a weird thing with me and my mom even though you guys know that she's my stepmom and everything but I consider her my real mom and she's one of my best friends in the whole entire world we have had this weird mental connection ever since we met years ago and for some reason on days when she's about to contact me is when I usually contact her and the other way around it's, it's a weird little connection and I love her very much <laughs> but uh, anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started so hello internet you friendly neighbor game machine here and today welcome to Fallout 4 so it's been a good minute since I played this game last time I played this game was a couple of years ago when I was on YouTube technically and um, I was doing a survival run of uh, Fallout 4 and I got to the middle of the game with uh, less than 20 deaths which was um, app, which was a really big thing for me and some of my older friends I had but times were different back then uh, maybe one day I'll do another survival mode run it's not going to be today, though. We're going to be playing with some mods. Um, indeed, Rumble, indeed. By the way, welcome. Welcome. So, yeah, we're going to be playing with some mods. Um, so, I'm going to, first off, show you the Creation Club mods that I'm going to be using. Um, that I'm very happy that I've collected over the years playing Fallout 4. Um... And funny story, when it comes to all of the mods that I have purchased, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a funny story, really. Every single one of these mods I have gotten for free when there was, like, uh, specials going on in the Creation Club for um, Fallout 4. Um, I have never used money in the Creation Club. Um, I started using money... For Fallout stuff when 76 came out uh, which is absolutely hilarious so at one point a lot of these mods that I have um, were free at one point so I got some of these for um, armor and all that I did there was a couple that I didn't download again but I still owned like the Black Labrador for getting an alternative dog. Um, I will say this. I did get the ha the handmade shotgun, the graphic tees, Morgan spacesuit from Prey. Um, and I, of course, got every single one of these uh, Abazi Pit Boy skids. But there's one Pip Boy skin. Well, funny story. The Onyx one was the first ever Pip Boy skin that I got. Um, but funny story. My favorite Pip Boy skin is one of the rarest that you can get in Fallout 4. Um, and it is the Silver Shroud one. The Silver Shroud one, I had to literally wait a good long time for this to actually return to the Creation Club. Um, it, it's, it's a beautiful paint job. I think it's great and the funny story about it is when we go to the regular mods I'm going to show you something else here I'll show you the regular mods we're going to well the community mods we'll call it that um, and that I'm going to be using so load order so I'm going to be using a silver shroud legendary pit boy skin as you can see, you can only, you know, use this 
if you have the original one. Basically, it adds, you know, of course, like as it says right there, some legendary effects and everything when you use it. And it actually brings up more noirish colors for that pit boy, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm bringing also in the cheat room PS4, so I can so once I leave the uh, the vault and everything, I'll be able to put on my um, gray ghost attire and go on with that. Of course, I'll be trying to get some of my weapons on my own. And then I got the PS4 lights and shadows because, like I said, if I'm going to be doing gray ghost, I want there to be some better lighting. And of course, one of my favorite mods is the Hitchcock pr preset. This will make the whole game black and white because the Grey Ghost is noirish. And only fair. I fucking love it. And then, of course, I got the Vanilla Moon because, oh my god, man. This is another fun mod I like to use where it makes the moon more, much more bigger and has better lighting and all that. It's so freaking nice. Um, and, you know, funny enough, this is probably going to be the only times where Mr. Rumble Roses will ever see me use mods for something. <laughs> hey, Mordor, how you doing? Uh, okie dokie. Yeah, just keep me on in the background, man. Whatever floats your boat. And then I have these other ones I haven't activated yet. I might activate them sooner or later. But, uh... Like, for example, I might do the real-time VATS so it feels more like Fallout 76 instead of slowing shit down. But we'll see how things go. These are all some of my favorite loadout mods, but because they're not checked, that means I'm not using them yet. Like, the Golden Gun is a really, really good mod I like um, because I am a fan of uh, James Bond Golden Gun. Um, just because. Um... And if I wasn't using the black and white mod, I would be using the Dead Sun Weather mod, which basically uh, makes things look more uh, hellacious nuclear. That's the best way to put it. But, uh, but yeah. So, when it comes to this version of Fallout 4, it's just like the original one I had, except um, back in the day, I only had one DLC downloaded because I was very poor back in the day when I first got this game. Um, I only had Nuka World, which is literally considered my favorite Fallout 4 mo um, DLC. This is the Game of the Year edition, so <laughs> I have all the DLCs. So on days when I don't feel like playing Star Wars slash when I finish Star Wars... I'll be playing some Fallout 4. So yeah, there we go. Um, but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, um, when it comes to the settings and the gameplay and all that, I'm always going to keep it on normal. I never go easy or very easy. I always keep things on normal. Um, so FYI, that's the setting that I'm playing the game on. You know. I'm just going to chill with some Fallout 4. That's just exactly how it's going to go. So, let's go. Yes, I know trophies are disabled. There we go. Alright. So, when it comes to the Grey Ghost, I'm going to do his specials based around my own um, loadout I would give myself. So, yeah. Just thought I'd let people know about that. But we're going to watch the introduction scene here because I just love the introduction scene here, man. It's it's nice. It's nice. Whenever it decides it wants to freaking start. So while we watch this, tell me how everybody's uh, weekend was and everything.
1945, my great-great-grandfather served in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish. When the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. Mm -hmm. Good point. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's the that war. War never changes. I still wish I had my own um, real life power armor. That would be so cool, man. And look, it's in black and white already. War never changes. You're going to knock them dead at the budget talk, man. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right, so. First off, we're going to play around with our wife first. Hey, my, my turn, turn, big guy. Just because I want to. So, uh, we're going to keep her face the same. Well, we'll be messing with the hairstyle just a little bit. Because why not? Let's see. I want to give her the Miss Noir. Love it. And I want it to be jet black. Yeah. Let's see. Not bad. Take the rosy look. And right, let's see, body. She will be. Kind of in the middle here. Mm, a little bit lower. Sorry. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright. So we got that. Let's go back to the boy here. Alright, so... Uh, let's see the different faces real quick. I think I'll go with that face regularly. Uh, style. Let's see. I know I won't be able to completely get my face, but... You know... It will be what I want it to be. Mm -hmm. That's my hand in that. Average. Um, nose. Uh, type of nose. Uh, you think my nose is too big? 
See, I definitely don't like the Roman too. Um, let me see. I might do handsome four. Yeah, Why nice. not? All right. Let's what do you see. think? Roguishly handsome. Handsomely roguish. I'll do average for that. Now let me see that facial hair real quick. Start from the top and work our way down. Definitely going to give him a real nice beard. Let's see here. Let me put it to the side there. I do either outdoorsmen actually I might go full throttle yeah let's do full Ooh, throttle Very manly. yeah I like that full throttle there we go okay back Okay. Look at the body. Okay. I am on the fat side, but I am losing a little bit of weight. I'm always going to be a little bit fat. I'd say about right there. But I do got some guns that I'm working on right now. Okay, I think that's not bad, even though Grey Ghost will mostly have a lot of his face covered. I wanted to model it a little bit on my look. Um, I just wish there was a way to... Actually, there might be a way to do it without the mustache. Let, let, let's see. Let's keep looking at the facial hair, actually. I would like to try and see if it's possible to... Okay, that, that's not that bad. That's not bad. I might do that. Hold on, let me just check the other ones just in case. Okay. So, yeah, that's actually the closest to how my facial hair really is trying to go for. Is I have the regular size and I have the chin going down but I'm trying to keep this shaved down right here my mustache I don't like to have my mustache what do you think that's not bad okay no I want color the facial hair give me the color of the facial hair that's not really gonna matter eh whatever it's probably brown and I don't mind it. Alright, I think we are ready to go. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's do it. That's a good look. Auto save, yay. Hello, Cogsworth. It's been a while. I did. I already drank my coffee. Douchebag. Mm. More the same. Indeed. It's so weird having everything in black and white, though. Because usually I'm used to doing this in color, but, you know. You know, Nuka Cola. Ice Cola. Nuka Cola. Gotta love it. Hunt, hunt. 
can't believe it's almost Halloween. He took a shaking shot of costume. It's a little early to be drinking. I disagree with that. Where is he gonna come? Okay, he's coming. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Got it. Good morning. Vault Tech calling. Oh my god. Sure. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just, Just look, look at that, that sky out there. Out there. <coughs> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Mm. I'm here now. I'm here now. So you are. So you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, precious commodity. Precious commodity. Indeed. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Mm, enough space? But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minor should go In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> a total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Sarcastic. No, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh my lord. Let's see. Alright. So let's work on our perk points. So I got a perk chart up on my computer right now. I would have tried to find my physical one that I own, but it's in my packing and I couldn't find it. Um so, let's see, when it comes to strength, that's going to go to six, okay, endure, oh, no, perception, I'd say... Four. Yeah. Um, endurance. Even though I can't swim, I am going to give him the ability to swim. Um, it would only be fair. So that's going to go to five. I always work on my charisma last. Because funny story, this is nothing like the original Fallout games for, uh, you know old school point and click PC or even new uh, New Vegas so honestly you can get through the game with low charisma it's just kind of weird <laughs> um, intelligence what do I want Grey Ghost's intelligence to be uh, I would have to say... Hmm... Well, that's probably going to be one of the highest. That's the most definite. Um... Let me see... Well, automatically, I will say my agility will probably be... Maybe a three. Yeah. Cause I, cause the thing is in real life, I'm I don't have much agility, but I have really good endurance. So, yeah, that's just due to my body being what it is. Um, luck, that's gonna be an interesting little uh, thing there. Um, luck's actually going to be one of the highest stats that he has. Because I would say I'm a very lucky person. So, for right now, let me do luck last. Close to charisma, of course. 
Um, intelligence. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Um, honestly, I think I'll do... Um, Charisma at three, actually. And then down the road, that'll be one of the ones that I work on um, when I level up. Um, when it comes to luck, think temporarily, I will put it at two. So that way I have the scrounger perk. Um... Intelligence, though, that's going to be an interesting one there. Um, technically, four would not be that bad, but it is one I'm going to work on. Um, I'm doing four so I can automatically be able to hack because I do technically have knowledge and hacking stuff. Um, so let's see. Oh, by the way, sorry about that. Uh, thank you for joining the Blood Sun Esquires. Codsworth the Robot. Yep, I kind of had a feeling I was going to get one of those type of situations in this stream. <laughs> sorry about that. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I don't mind having the foreign intelligence, really. Um... Yeah, I don't really mind that at all. Because I definitely wanted to keep my strength at 6 because of the uh, sturdy back uh, perk. Most definitely. Um, just keep in mind, I will be able to work on this stuff more as I level up as well. So that's the most definite thing right there. Um, let's see. Do I want to put it in luck? Yeah, I may as well. Yeah, I'll put it in luck. All right, there we go. And Gray Ghost. All right, there we go. I'll keep my perk chart up for right now, but I'll put it to the side. All right, I think we are ready. Let's do this. Wonderful. That's everything. Just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks, thanks again. again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's why we're all here, right? For you and Sean, no, no price, price too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Gray. Mr. Gray. I'm surprised he's not calling him Mr. Ghost. That's so weird. But okay, I don't mind Mr. Gray. That's fine. Oh my lord. Sure, why not? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a couple. Weather should hold up. Mmm. That's sarcastic. Will it be like that kind of park a year ago? Sir! Mom! Come and see me! Codsworth? What's wrong? We're gonna die! What? 
It means it's time to run. Confirmed reports. Repeat. Confirmed reports of the nuclear detonations in New York, Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We we need to get to the vault now. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Residents of Sanctuary Hill. Auto saving. At least we're still fast, though. Now we'll watch the boom happen. Yeah. Almost, Almost there. there. We're hey, Hatter, okay. how you doing, man? I love, I love you. Both, Both of you. you. We, we love you, too. too. Oh, my God! Yeah, please lurk away, man. Message me later as well when I'm oh done God. streaming, okay? I got you, man. I got you. Everyone, please. You know you can message me later if you need to. Yep. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. All two specific levels please proceed in an orderly fashion. Welcome home. Welcome home. Step over to the table to take a seat. Just step over to the table. It's now uh, the hallway right there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor. He'll show you where to go. All right. Follow me. See? It's gone. Our home. Everything. Oh, you're going to love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. None of the others aren't great, mind you. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get them first. Just to get everyone off the list. Fashionable, right? Let's look comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely thing you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay. There we go. Decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just as we are. Time for a whole new life. And then they need secure. Occupant items. Normal. Now the way that the lore goes for my character here, because we're going by the Fallout 4 type of lore. Basically, um my character's original identity dies uh, when his when he finds his wife dead at the end here and basically his mind becomes the gray ghost if that makes any sense Hey, look, it's Mr. Kellogg's Crunchy Nuts. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is where technically, you know, because of the death of his wife, he has a traumatic episode where he becomes the Grey Ghost, but he still remembers who he used to be. I guess it's kind of like a friend of his, quote unquote, died and had unfinished business, and that's kind of what motivates the Grey Ghost to do what he does. If that makes any kind of sense whatsoever. <laughs> Brad Roach. Yeah. All right, let's do some looting. So why not? Yeah. Basically, yeah, uh, you got you're, you're absolutely correct. It feels so weird playing Fallout 4 right now. Giant them, roaches? roaches? What the hell? Because I'm used to the real life fats from 76 versus the slowdown of uh, Fallout 4. I want my Red Menace. Thank you. Gotta get those free games. Ooh, Wonder Blue, I'll take that, sure. Alright, so we got anything... Okay. And open that. Hot plate, yes, I will take that, thank you. Sink. I'll take out that. Gotta be careful there. Yeah, boy. Smash. Smash. But he we did. All right. ammo so I'll also take the gun too just 
system packs. Pistol rounds. I want to take the baton for right now. Preserve cigarettes. Mr. Actor Michael Merchant, my favorite independent actor. Thank you so much for that raid, kind sir. I have a shout out for the immortal actor Michael Merchant, please. Thank you so much for popping in, sir. Always a pleasure and always an honor. How are you doing? How was No Man's Sky? Because I got a feeling you were playing No Man's Sky. Because I know you. Terminal's got to be somewhere. That's right, terminal. That's right. All right. Mm, open evacuation tunnel. Okay. Okay, it's already open. Okay. Okay, we got some roaches right there. Good. Back it on up. Yep. 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 Now, if this was me playing survival, I would be totally looting all this meat. But I don't want it. Fallout's going good. It's still in our regular minor modded playthrough. Right when I get out of here, we'll be going straight to the cheaters' den. Really? Okay. Let me let me get that. Oh, there you are. I'm trying to get to him. Yeah, there. Yay to the criticals! All right. I will take that pit boy. I'm still proud that I have the freaking um, rare silver shroud um, pit boy skin that I got from the Creation Club years ago. Gotta hit the hit the store, but my battery is too low to walk, so it'll be RB. Leaving it here plugged in on work. Yes, sir. Let me know when you pop back in, okay? I'll be here. There's my pit boy. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. All right. First off, going to check around for some more supplies. Like those rounds right there. We're going to need those. Let's see. Is there anything else I should pick up? I can come back if I need steel. What happened here? Where, Where is, is everyone? everyone? Yeah, man. Just please be careful. Is this all that's left? Of this place? Yes. Alright. Let's push it a button. I love the freaking music here for um, Fallout 4. And they only made it better for 76.
exit the vaults. Enjoy your return to the service, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. It's still kind of weird having the black and white filter on it, but it, it's still nice, though. Because, you know, the whole noir feel for uh, Grey Ghost, I had to do it. I had to. Like, most definitely, I had to. So, yeah, I'm going to be keeping the world exactly the same. <laughs> But, you know, just this minor different changes. All right, so let's bring up the map. Cheat room. Let's go. Let's get him uh, fitted for the occasion. So the thing is, though, I've only got the, I only had gotten the base cheat room mod. Um, I could have gotten the DLC ver um, add-ons to it as well, but I chose not to, because the only thing I'm really going to be using the cheat room for is for the clothes. I'll be trying to get the weapons on my own. But yeah, welcome to the cheat room. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man, look at all that, man. Look at all this. Because um, these side rooms here would be where the um, DLC versions of the cheat room would go into. These have uh, different items in it. Protect and serve. Indeed. Here's all the cheat weapons, which I'm not going to use any of those. I'm just showing it off. Okay, what we got in here? Okay, we have all armor. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. So the hat is going to be the silver shroud fedora. I would have gotten the battered fedora, but I honestly like the... Silver Shroud Fedora for Grey Ghost. So we are going to get that. Let's see. Silver Shroud costume. Silver Shroud hat. There we go. Um, next, we're going to get um, the detective outfit for um, that you would usually get for um what's it called um meeting up with uh valentine dirty gray suit yeah i could hold on uh inspect that real quick oh yeah okay i remember that one okay just trying to remember what it's called on fallout 4 i cannot remember what it's called because it's been it's been a good minute I think it's... No, it's not a dirty trench coat. Um, let me see. Father's lab coat. Freaking crazy, man. Um, Kellogg's outfit. Um, but yeah, the leather coat. That's a cool freaking outfit. Um, by a longshore outfit. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. McCready's Duster. That's another favorite of mine. Um, I can't fucking remember what it's freaking called, though, man. That's, I'm, I cannot freaking remember what it's called in Fallout 4. Red leather trench coat, Dad's Pipers. Is I wonder if it's literally just a trench coat. Let's see. So shall cost you. Because we're only in the S's anyways. 
Oh yeah, the freaking synth field helmet. That's a cool freaking helmet, by the way. Um, okay, we're in the T's. Okay. Wow, I forgot they had Tegan's armor. Tegan's armor looks pretty cool. Traveling leather coat. Trilby hat. The different vault suits. Uh, worn fedora. Oh yeah, that's um that's the fedora for um Valentine. So wait, if that's the fedora for Valentine then what is any yellow trench coat? No, that's that's not it. Damn, I cannot freaking remember. Um on goggles, wrap around goggles. I cannot remember. Oh, sort. Oh, never mind. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's not the patch suit. Start it over. Transfer. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um... That's an armor that I wish they would bring to 76, is the fucking cage armor. That's sadly not a, um, armor in the game. Freaking colonial duster. Yeah. Let's see... No. There it is. Faded trench coat. That's the one. Okay. Now I need the special goggles. Oh, so that's interesting. The freaking masks. Grandpa Savaldi's hat. Oh my lord. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Mascot head. Jesus. Medical goggles. Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's your boy's coat. Rex's suit. Okay, I was just looking at that real quick. Road goggles. Damn. Summer shorts. Surgical mask. Okay, I got the mask. Now, where are the right goggles? Because there's some special goggles that I need to get him. You see that real quick? Yeah, the welding goggles. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay. First off, I want to put Morgan spacesuit in there. Oh yeah, that's right. It's, it gives me the freaking handgun, shotgun. Okay. Actually, I should have kept that. Let me get that real quick, because that can be used as a uh, um, a thing to get me through. Uh, the thing, whatever the hell it's called. Morgan spacesuit. Yeah, let me get that back. Okay. So, this is what we started off looking like. Let's put on our clothes. So, faded trench coat, silk shroud hat, surgical mask, and welding goggles. That is what the Grey Ghost is supposed to look like. Problem is, in Fallout 76, they have not given us that version of the trench coat. We have not gotten that yet. And I pray one day we will. But yeah, this is the way the Grey Ghost is supposed to look like. That's just how it's supposed to be. And I love the freaking style. It looks absolutely amazing. I love it. Like, dead serious. I freaking love it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah. I'll take a little snapshot just to take a snapshot. There we go. Okay. So, what do you guys think? That's, that's the way that I've always pictured the Grey Ghost to be. The reason for the Silver Shroud hat is because he was always a fan of the Silver Shroud, and technically part of his lore is that he originally was part of the Silver Shroud clan. Um, this is going into the whole Fallout 76 storyline as well. He was part of the Silver Shroud clan, which was a group of so uh, people that dressed as the Silver Shroud to try and save the, uh, the Commonwealth and everything of that nature. Um... When it comes to the Grey Ghost, like I said, he used to be part of the Silver Shroud Clan, but he wanted to go out and do his own thing. He felt that his ideals were similar, but he, different at the same time. So, in order for him to keep a piece of his past, he kept the hat. And he ended up finding the clothes off of a dead detective at the... Uh, police department he had the goggles and the surgical mask that he had gotten uh, from a vendor so yeah that's, that's the Grey Ghost that's always how he's been and he is technically his own type of mentalist detective alright so now that we have done that I am going to pull up the map and we are going to go to Vault 111. But yeah, that's, that's a really cool freaking fashion. I always love that fashion. <clears throat> Alright. Gotta love that black and white, dude. I, I freaking love it. Alright. Oh, yeah, the blood packs, that's right. Good battle. Welcome back, Hatter. Welcome back. Also, take a look at the, uh, the Grey Ghost fashion right here. That's what I wish he could look like in Fallout 76. Is he has the Silver Shroud hat, the goggles, the face mask, and the actual trench coat. Which in seventy six in uh, Fallout Four, the trench coat is called the faded trench coat, but we don't have that in seventy six yet. Yeah, go ahead. But yeah, that's that's the way he's supposed to look right there. 
I absolutely, I absolutely love it. All right, so let's check these crates. I'll take the scissors. That's some steel. Here, let me re-show you the, um, the fashion here. That's what the Grey Ghost is supposed to look like in uh, 76, but... Like I said, we don't have the trench coat yet. But that's the way that the Grey Ghost is supposed to look like. He's a mentalist detective. That originally was part of the Silver Shroud Clan. So, yeah, you can kind of see why I wanted this fashion for 76. All right, we got a desk fan. We're going to need that. Uh, sure, there we go. Bottle cap, please. Take them 10 millimeter rounds. We will work on getting his weaponry in time. Cram, sure. We're not going to sprint. We're just going to we're just going to jog it in. And also, um, I absolutely love the black and white filter because it gives off the noirish vibe that I like. Welcome to Sanctuary. <laughs> Codsworth. This is the round where he's like starting to have the switch in mentality now. So, yeah. Rust. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Focus, Focus Kato. Uh, I'm afraid I don't have anything, sir. The bombs came all of you left in such a hurry. I thought, oh, sir, you and your family were dead. I did find Mrs. Holloway. I believe the missus was going to present her to you as a surprise. Then I... Oh, everything happened. Thank you, Kato. You're, you're welcome. Now, and I'm feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Mrs. and young Shaw may turn up yet. I don't know. This is where his mentality changes um, permanently, where he's like, instead of him losing his wife and his son, he's like, I lost a close friend that died with his wife and his son is missing. Now I have a temporary purpose I have to do. I must find help to find my friend's son. But because of the fact that it's still technically him, he'll have moments where he cracks and he's like, oh, I don't know what happened to my son. But then away from like the deep conversations he'll be like I need to find my friend's son yeah it's basically like a disassociated identity disorder yeah because of the trauma so yeah Trying to get the critical real quick. There we go. It's a different button for the criticals for Fallout 4. Reload. I still wish he called him Mr. Ghost. But it's okay. I can handle it. Cardsworth. Cardsworth. Mr. Gray, the missus, the young Shaw, who aren't here. Thanks, Thanks for trying, Cardsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby. Well, the people there are hoping shot me a few times. I like these people already. Oh, good. 
Yeah, I know how to pick a I know how to pick a lot. Told you. Sweetie. Nice uh alright. Right away. Okay, I do need to go back to my house because there is something I need to get from there. This isn't yet, yo, but I'm just looking around as well. Seeing if there's anything important like, you know, plastic. Oh, the Voltec t-shirt. That's right. That is a thing. That's part of the t-shirt uh, creation club mod that I have. Oh yeah, that's some good loot right there. Okay, let's go find me house. Because there's something special that I need to get. It's in Sean's room, which is right here. Pick an attribute to improve. That is going to go into my luck. Because, fuck yeah. Uh. Alright. Now also, Grey Ghost is uh, mostly a wanderer. He doesn't exactly build things unless it's per unless you know he absolutely has to. I forgot about that road Um So yeah. Um Another shotgun. I'll take the drifter outfit so I can sell that later on down the road. When I get to Trudy's place, we're gonna meet up with um, our super dog. Little old dog meat. Hello, spam. How are you? What are you doing here all by yourself? Arf. You lose your own body. Okay, okay then. then. Let's stick together. We can do it, dog. Yes. Did you now? What'd you find, big boy? Ah, oh, yeah. Good job, doggo. I'll take that stem pack. And me just being a funny ass son of a bitch, I'm going to give you a cram. There you go, doggo. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Craft. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna put the long barrel on it. Ah. 
I do like the handmade shotgun. Yeah, that's why I wanted that long barrel right there. Damn it. Give me my fucking AP, damn it. Jeez. There we go. And I got a level up, too. Oh. Okay, I bought... Leave it alone. Quit freaking me out. <laughs> All right. Let's search around. Cigarette carton, sure. buff out I can sell those arm clock cap stash let's do our level up You'll see, my strength is exactly what I want it to be because of the whole strong back type of thing. Um, I'll be working on that sooner or later. Blacksmith, gun nut, yeah. Um, agility needs that for sneak. I'm going to put another star into my luck. I need to get all of my luck traits. Like I said, my luck is going to be my highest. Which is also the same for 76 as well. Because <laughs> he's a very lucky son of a bitch. Alright. I'll store all my junk here. Alright. Let's work our way to uh, conquer here. <coughs> Of course, you miss every single one of them. Nice. Good job, doggy.
It's a raider. Okay, so we got that dude there. Got that dude there. I thought there was three. Sure. I also need to try and uh, get some armor for him too. We'll take his long johns. Oosh. There we go. Come here. Think about it. Forgive me, but I'm not much of a fan of uh, Preston. But it is what it is. Let's see. Sure. Star for luck. Sure, why not? I'm not going to use it because I'm not a fan of the laser musket, honestly. your mouth young lady oh, of course of course you do
got it. I will take this fusion core, thank you. I guess I could for the experience, why not? Alright. Yes, I know. Uh no. Lightness one. Viper? Lightness one. Interesting. Okay. Lightness zero. So it's not the I interesting to say the least all right seeing how we have one attempt left let's see if we can fix our resets because that is very possible because sometimes I like to power through them but there's occasions where I actually like to try with these things. Not finding any more things here. There we go. What's that? That's another dud removed. Wait, wait. Dud removed. Wait, what's that one? Dud removed. Dud removed. Can I get a tries reset here? That would be nice. Okay, now that's not one. Wait. Dud removed. Quit removing the duds and just give me my resets. I'm actually surprised I haven't ran into uh, resets, uh, try resets. I'm oh, I'm guessing we're not going to get one. Okay, so. Could it be dared? No. We just gotta wait for a minute. I'd like to get the experience. You have a second. Here we go. Okay. Unity? Zero light. Okay. Does that mean set the password? Set dud removed. Okay. Likeness two for bully. Hmm. B U L O Y.
This is going to be an interesting password. Yeah, whatever. I bet you are. I hate when I get those really bad passwords, man. Such ass. That's why usually I power through them. But in this case, not exactly gonna work like that. Alright, work our way up. Yep. Back it up. We got this. Pull out that shotgun real quick. It'll be fine for a little bit, Preston. Give me that pit boy light, light there. You'll live. I already saved your ass. Give me a minute. Hey, right. dear. Save us, General. I remember I pistol. Sure. Be some good money. You'll notice that some of the responses he's going to give is still him kind of switching between his original self and who he's going to become. So, yeah. Go 
tools? What are ghouls? Wow. You really are from around here, are you? Ghouls are the radiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time. But they're still just like you. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiation out of their brains make them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Sorry, my freaking eyes are bothering me today. You figured Conquer would be a safe place to set up. Those raiders prove us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Better be good. Better be a good one. Sturgis, tell them. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a serious sweet good. We're talking a full suit of chair, T-45 Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be strong, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertical. You do that. No traders getting express tickets ahead. You dig? I dig. And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, Funny story, I can't wait to get that freaking Tommy gun, by the way. And I believe it's called Spray and Pray. We're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Got one. The high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. We know right where to find it. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Oh, please. I already got it. I fixed it. I think bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe I'll love to finally turn it around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck, Rob. Sure. Dog meat. Man. So, is your dog? Reminds me of Shadow, except as a cat. Vision. <laughs> Oh, I can't stand Mama Murphy. I'm sorry. I, I just can't stand her. Keep in mind, he's a detective. He doesn't believe in mystical type shit. At least not yet. Hey, Marcy. I mean, as long as you don't talk my freaking head off, I could be part of your rescue team. Yeah. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. I always keep the bobbleheads. They're so cool. Funny story on my main character, which is Grey Ghost. I have all the bobbleheads. It was something that I totally wanted to do when I was in uh, Fallout 76. Um, dog meat, will you get out of my way, please? Thank you. All right. Move around. Nothing there. All right. Let's 
Crouch it. It feels nice playing Fallout 4 again, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Duct tape. Let's see. Put that fusion core in there. Enter. No more stealth for now. Oh, you found something? What'd you find? What'd you find, doggy? Hey, hey. What'd you find? Well, oh, nothing. You just still have the cramp. That's your snack. I'm gonna get a little bit of cover. Because there is a giant death claw right there. I'm gonna see if I can at least get a little bit of him. There we go. Really, game? There we go. Trick I know. There we go. Where's he at? Where did he go?
He must be on patrol or something. Get over here, you bastard. Gotcha. Eat shit. I will take all of that. Time to get up, dog meat. Good job. We're Vegas storage key, sure. Take that. Eh, sure. I'll take his weapons as well. I'll take the Raider stuff too, because why not? So I can sell stuff. Because sooner or later I will have to sell me some stuff to get a little bit of cash. He knows how to sit and beg. Like a good doggo. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go save the vitamin. But yeah, don't worry, we will be using um, Red Rocket Station as um, our little main hub type of thing. <laughs> it's all right, Preston. Not everyone understands the sight. But I don't need you to do it. I just need you to listen. You're a man out of time. Out of the hole. All's not lost. I can feel it. The sun's energy. He's alive. think which stage of his grief you would be in. I guess he would listen. I'm listening. What was it? I know how I'm saying. The sight, it's weird. And it ain't always clear. But your son's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should stop looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. Figured as much. You're always tired, Mama Murphy. You're always freaking tired. Mama Murphy, you talk about this. That jump. It's gonna kill you. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need sight. 
I'll help them get the sanctuary. Yeah, let's help them get the sanctuary at least. And you're so freaking slow. Yeah, I'll walk it. Why not? Still behind me? Jeez, they're so slow. Guys are so slow. Hmm. Yeah, we are. Jeez, can you guys be any slower? Well, I'll be damned. It's the money 
somewhere into the original meaning. I knew that was somewhere around the corner. That means that it's the first of the year of the year. For the first shot of the year of the revolution was fired. I call that the best moment I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss. But I'm glad you're happy about it. There it is. I forgot about that duffel bag before. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to my mom or all along. Pretty nice place she's from. I think we can settle down now. Oh, okay. What do you what mean? mean? Before, Before what war? Are, are you saying... saying... No. We're still hoping there are Minutemen out there. Someone. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometimes. Oh man, just the sarcasm, dude. I love it. Nice level up. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he could get. Nah, you'll be fine for now. Go have fun, Preston. Go have fun. Yeah, I'm, he, I'm not really interested in uh being part of the minute, man. Oh yeah, by the way, there's the um, mod I got for the moon. Looks really nice. Yeah, it's a really big moon. Okay, let's get out of the power armor. Okay. Store all my junk. Cool beans. Did you now? What did you find? What did you find, dog? You didn't find anything. I'll take those stem packs, though. Most definitely. Okay, let's see what we got here. 167 out of 260, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Let me see something. That's what I was thinking. I can't really put on any armor without it, uh, Take it on in my trench coat. I figure as much. That's fine. Alright. Now, our next stop will be getting to Miss Trudy at her little pit stop. So let's go. Let me switch my weapon. Mm -hmm. I'll take the pipe pistol. I'm 
gonna go this way because we'll either run into Trudy first or we'll end up running into uh, um, the wandering caravan woman Actually, I may as well do my level up, too. I need to do that. Alright, what's my luck at right now? I need to at least get my luck to 9. So... Keep on with the luck. So hopefully you guys in chat are having fun watching and everything, learning a little thing or two from me. Like I said, it's been a good while since I've played Fallout 4, but I remember a lot about it. Sooner or later, I am going to have to turn off the pit boy light. Let me get closer. Come on. Get him. Good job. Come on. Give me some fucking AP here, man. Thank you. I guess I'm... Um, okay. There's a Brahmin. Here's three more. What's up, cows? Ooh. Check them out. Okay. go technically I can go through here
Really? Come on, thank you. I was wondering when he was going to get that freaking hit right there. There you go. Cool beans. said I need to get to the diner. I believe that might be it. Might need a better gun. So, I'm gonna pull out. So, let me see. Yeah, the 10 millimeter will probably be my best bet. We had a deal, Rudy. Hand over the goods. You. If it's poison shilling, chem pushes anything. You know what that junk has done to my boy? Fought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if we struck out. Don't make me come in. The little trading post of yours. this free money. Yep. Alright, where's Simone's body? Where is Miss Simone's body? There's Wolfgang. Simone should be right over here somewhere, because that's where I shot her at. I just don't see her freaking body. What'd you find? It's nothing. I do not know where her body went. Huh. Okay. Alright, Todd Howard. You robbed me of a body. Alright, let's talk to Trudy. Hey, baby. I can't, can't wait, wait to see the crows, crows beating on that scumbag. Scum Here, Here, this is for you. For you. Now, now, if you ever you need, need a trade, trade, my shop's open. Sure. Let's see, see what, you what you got. got. All salvage. But none of the job. Got my another level up there. All right. So. I gotta watch her caps too. Mm. 
I'll keep the revolver pistol. Get rid of these and I'll keep the light pistol. I'm still washing her stuff here. Because I will probably end up buying some stuff from her too. Um, I'll get rid of that one, but I'll keep the handmade. I'm gonna sell that laser musket. Oh, I forgot I had that on. Sell the two wedding rings. Now, let's see what Miss Trudy has on her. General Chowser and Sren. That's an interesting sword. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I do need to buy some stem packs off of her. I think I'll use the Rat X. I do use the Rat Away, so that is a most definite thing there. Get rid of one of the welding goggles. Yep. Cool beans. Alright. So I got me some more health stuff. Okay. Light pistol. Sure. Alright. Now we need to get ourselves to Diamond City. Which will take some time, but won't be completely impossible. Oh yeah, that's right, I have a level up too. Why not? Alright. Okay, he technically needs to go up two more stars, because he's going to stop at nine. So, we'll do that. Lexington. Sneak through here. Try not to be seen. Let's 
super duper mart. Diamond City is right there. We're gonna make a marker. Yes, I know. We're gonna make a marker there. Okay, also, get rid of that marker. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Technically, we have to go that way, I'm guessing. Yep, that seems about right. Okay. And then whenever I get to 9 luck my first thing I'll start upgrading will be uh, some of my stealth some of that free XP right there. Watching myself. Okay. While we crawl through all this. some of that right there okay I will say it is different playing this on the black and white mod but I like it though so far so that's nice fire support yep so another thing to know about gray ghost is he's usually only on his own side he's not you know exactly a hero per se but he's most definitely not a villain he does things to benefit himself but at the same time there's a ghoul right there I shoot that ghoul he does things that benefits himself if that makes any sense whatsoever shoot him down come on give him another shot there we go.
But I will say, though, that his thinking process, in terms of, like, his morals, I guess you could say do kind of mirror uh, Valentine. But he has his own beliefs as well. So, like, for example, you know, sooner or later, he'll run into the Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, you know, he'll get himself a nice little thing of T-60 power armor that'll help him out in some rough situations. Does he believe in what the Brotherhood, you know, believes in? No, he doesn't. He doesn't even understand what a synth is. He will get the concept of it, but because of, um, I guess you could say, the oldness of his mind, he'll think that synths are also regular people. So there's that as well. Are you a bad robot? And nope, you're you're a good robot. Okay, I'm not going to shoot you. Um, but I will say that he'll probably give some help to the railroad. And I guess the reason for that will be because of um, the lingering memories of what's left of his wife. She would probably want him to uh, help out like the railroad. Because it would mean like saving lives. Now, the difference between the Railroad and the Minutemen, mm, it's really hard for me to explain, but he wouldn't help out the Minutemen. But in terms of the Railroad, he would most definitely do that. But I think, it, I think the reason for it is that he's helping people um, get a better life. That's a good way to put it. Because the railroad, the railroad helps out, um, runaway synths that, um, you know, want to have a better life. And that's basically what his ideals are. He believes that people shouldn't suffer. However, at the same time, and when it comes to helping settlements, he can be a little bit cold-hearted, but not cold-hearted in a, exactly a mean way. Like I said, he does things that benefits himself and his ideals. Like I said, he will think that scents are regular people as well. He'll get the idea of what a synth is, but he won't exactly understand what a synth is. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody in chat. But there is a difference between um, the Minutemen and the uh, Railroad. Like I said, the Minutemen are basically like, um, I guess, freedom fighter-ish. But Grey Ghost isn't a freedom fighter. Like I said, he's also not exactly a hero either. He does things that benefits him. But it's kind of like the beginning morals of Tom Holland Spider-Man. That's a good way to put it. Um, originally, like if he started issues, he it would be his job to fix them. If that makes any sense. But, uh, but, yeah. That's basically the whole thing with Grey Ghost. And also, at the same time, he's kind of like this wandering soul, you know. He's somebody 
that's kind of using the shell of a man that died on the inside and he's using that body to um, to do his own things because you know like I said in terms of the gray ghost his original identity died with his wife and he thinks of his original identity as like a former friend of his that lost his wife and died with his wife we'll give these guys a hand here doing this for XP. Yeah, my weapons are not exactly that strong. But... Wait, what? Oh, I'm about to say. Man, get out of my, get out of my way, dude. Well, funny story, the Grey Ghost is actually a character technically in uh, Batman the Animated Series. He was a, um anti-hero type of character that Bruce Wayne, the child, was a uh, fan of. And also, funny story, is um, the voice of um, the Grey Ghost in the animated series was uh, Adam West. And of course, Batman being voiced by Kevin Conroe. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. Headshot. Yep, I bet. You got him away. Gotta get. I, I gotta. I, yep, I gotta get that XP though. Okay. So so, apparently there's a guy still behind here. Good job, doggy. Good job. Alright, so we got ourselves some free XP there. Now, I will say, though, that when it comes to uh, Grey Ghost and Fallout 4, he is a big fan of Piper because he owns a newspaper and also she ha um, helps him meet, you know, Valentine. Which, when it comes to Valentine, very interesting case. Like, like uh, he doesn't see Valentine as a synth. He sees Valentine as a detective. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. Plus, I like Piper. I do. Ooh, just doing your job. Protect 
I would smash Piper. I would smash the hell out of Piper. Oh, McDonough's always steamed. You first. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slander. The level of dishonesty in that paper. I hate McDonough. I hate him. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Always believe I. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, God, I hate my dog. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise. You're full of it. This hasn't, hasn't been the friendly as well. Let's get you there, Madonna. Was there anything in particular you came to our city for? Looking for something. Just looking for something? Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Missing person. Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, your father will get time to city security for that. No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow everything. I'm going to put a few confined hell at me. Diamond City has every conceivable surface known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help. Well, sure. Yeah. A mayor of a great city needs no evidence. Who can help? Well, yep. A detective, huh? No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. I want, I want the truth, truth McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talking to the person? I've had, had enough of this, Piper. Piper. From, From now on, on consider you, you and that, that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's, that's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah. Not everyone can claw information on McDonough's tight fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office and see Valentine? I could just tell him another story. That's so. Okay. I'm sorry, I've always had a crush on Piper. And I don't remember who her voice actress is, but she has an amazing voice, too. Oh, hey, my boy. I'm going to be seeing your people very soon. All right, let's go. Let's go.
Welcome to Diamond City, everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, Piper. Piper. We'll talk to him once they get settled. Well, first, I'm going to go, uh, I'll talk to the sister. Hello, Hi Nat. Three papers, papers newcomers. The institute grabs you in the night. At least we warned. Sarcastic. A free paper? paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. The institute hates people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The institute? You ain't heard of the institute, mister? They snatch them up and turn them into shape shifting demon cats. I'm teasing. Who's missing? Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year. I do dig Piper's sister. She's hilarious. having a moment. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is so don't place it. We've been saying that for weeks and the little girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. Can you start whistling if you see the angry politicians? What? Is something wrong? Sometimes you gotta feel bad for Piper, though. Valentine Detection Agency. Oh, yeah. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong. Another stray coming in from the raid. Rage are too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped the young one, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Kirk Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Not gonna ask for money. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well pressed suits and machine gun school of buggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of Ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. Yeah, that's true. I'll find you. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. I do dig his outfit, though. Okay, doggo. 
we must go talk to the Diamond City April O'Neil. I mean, that is literally who Piper is in, in my in my eyes. She's April O'Neil from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles if she was in the freaking, um, you know, yeah. Don't what have you done with the real Ryan? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sake, we're family. Put the gun down. Now. He's a sin. He'll kill us all. Nope. Oh. Okay. Show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. I'll take the bullets. <clears throat> Public occurrences. Let's get in here before we get too many raids. The raids. Hello, April O'Neil. My favorite ballpark are from the Shanty Town. So, today's a raid. Interesting you mentioned that. Being as you're from a vault. Yeah. You're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now with the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think the time down the city had a little outside perspective of common. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local man says that. It's gonna be like that, huh? <laughs> Oh, right, I'm gonna give you the interview. I just wanted to be sarcastic. Yeah. What's involved? What kind of interview is this gonna be? You are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions. What you said? Sure. All right, I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time? It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned from the bird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to go with the satirical approach. Yep. So, Gotta love it. So, the Commonwealth, Diamond City, how does it compare to your old one? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the world. Feeling a little homesick, are we? I blame you. Uh -huh. the big question. You came all this way looking for something. Who is it? And what's it matter? Why do I care? This is news. No one else in Diamond City may care about the news. My paper does. We will say a family member. I lost family. Okay. What's their name? Who are they? My son, Sean. You see what I'm doing with him, right? He's still kind of struggling between the switch of who he used to be with who he is now. Do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement that Diamond City direct. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the populace. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look at? Wait, wait. People just ignore kidnappings out there? Yeah, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is going to take you. They need someone to know. But someone. And people just say, oh, it would have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral rules. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. And what would you like to say? You can only take 
take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all I need. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? Yes, indeed, my dear. You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. Sure, sure. Let's go. Will do. It's okay, big boy. So, big boy, you're going to go hold down the Ford at the Red Rocket truck stop. All right. Let's do our level up. I'm going to wait to put my last point in luck in just a minute. I am going to need some sneak. Because where we're going, we're going to need to be a little careful. Oh. All right. Because the thing is, is this. Just like in Fallout 76... Grey Ghost, he is a, uh, he's basically a sneak build. That's, that's just who he is. No, 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 no. Hey, Joker, how you doing? If you're interested, talk to him about uh, what's going on, dude? No, if you have Tell me what's going on. Bart. Could use some supplies, actually. Let's see what I can spare. I'm going to sell some stuff with him real quick. Um... I will keep the minigun for right now, just in case of an emergency. Uh, let's see, pipe auto pistol, fire rate, okay, those are both 38, let's see, I'm going to get rid of the auto pistol, nothing against it being an automatic weapon that shoots more than one bullet but I'm used to shooting one bullet at a time so we'll do that I'm looking for a game that is going to be next gen only something not going to Xbox One only X series Problem is, as I haven't played an Xbox game in a long time. Shadow, if you're if you are in chat, would you mind doing a little bit of uh, side research help for Joker while I play the game? I know how you are about uh, being quick with looking up things. I do not mind sharing one of my mods to help you out. I think Shadow's still in chat. Yeah, there he is. Alright. Yeah, go ahead and give it a look. I think Rumble is still in chat, so he'll be able to hold down the fort while you do that. Um, but yeah, while he does that for you, Joker, tell me how you've been doing, man. I did take a week off of streaming because of my birthday. So, uh, yeah, just tell, tell me how you're doing, dude. Yeah, 
get rid of that pipe pistol. Okay, I do need the sooner. Okay, that. Oh well, that doesn't even weigh anything. Interesting. Okay. Now I'll hold on to that for now. Ah, I gotcha. Makes perfect sense to be honest. I get I get you. All right. Now let's go to our map. Marker. Let's see. Unlikely Valentine. We'll get rid of fire support for right now. All right. I am using a few small mods here and there um, with the game, but uh, yeah, this is basically me um, making my character that um, used to be in fan fictions I used to do as a kid when I played the original Fallout games, and my character technically in Fallout 76. Which he is called the Grey Ghost. Head on inside. Hmm. Actually, let me go back in for a minute. I want to work on something real fast. Yeah. I have a mixture of Creation Club mods, which do not affect trophies, but I do have a few uh, community mods that, of course, disable my trophies. One of which you're kind of seeing right now, which is the black and white mod, which is called the Hitchcock Preset. So there's that. I need an armor bench. Hey, you in the paper, right? Here we go. Because there is something I would like to do. Looks like I need some oil. Oh, I can definitely get that. Let's talk, Mirna. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Keep calm and standing still. That's exactly. Yeah, I had a good birthday. I don't know. You had my stream on the thirty-first, and um, then I took uh, the rest of that week off, and I just started back streaming today. Let's see what you got. Here's what we got. Let me get some oil from you, Myrna. Uh, do you have any oil? Yeah, I'll take one of those. I need to activate another one of my mods that I um, that I got. Okay. There you go, Joker. I want the 
silver shroud paint 30 plus 30 AP and then plus 20 aim stability Good girl now. Let me switch my weapon. I will go with. Let's see, I do have the shotgun, but I need to hold on to those shells for a while. Let's go with the pipe pistol. do this let's do it to it my dudes we gotta go find our uh, other partner Mr. Valentine okay so I guess we could go this way for right now I do gotta be careful of the dogs so let me do my thing here. Yeah, I don't mind that turret. Stop. Yeah, that's where I want to go. All that AP, my dude. Piper's already fucking down. Ah, damn it. He got a critical on me there. Damn it. Okay, my first death. <laughs> I was trying to get a good freaking critical right there, but it wasn't exactly working for some reason. Might go in with my shotgun. That might be a better thing to do. Because I would like to actually get that, uh, that, um, experience. I would really like to have that. So we'll go in with the shotgun. Where the fuck were you when I needed you, dude? All the signs. Wait, why am I going this way? I want to go this way. Okay. Hey. 
There we go. Eat shit, boy. Wait. I want that head. Yep, you always get mad. You're not gonna do that to me again. Oh, one of them's a legendary. Very nice. He's gonna mutate in a minute. Or maybe not. Oh, come on. Of course. Got my fucking revenge right there. Oh, trying to loot this damn body. Wow, really? Oh. Where's the dog? Ooh. That's a good pistol. That's a very good pistol. I'll take that. Where is that at? Yeah, incinerary pit pipe pistol. Fuck yeah. I will light some stuff on fire. I will definitely keep that. That'll be something nice to keep. Piper. Alright. Back to third person. freaking headset there. Sorry about that. Alright. Let's go find Valentine. We also gotta be careful not to run into Schwan as well. So we gotta be careful of the middle of uh, this area. Trinity Church. Now, if I really wanted to, though, I could totally go to um, where uh, the Underground Railroad is. You know, when I first started, pl when I first played Fallout 4, the random placing of the freaking mannequins used to freak me the fuck out. Because I'm not much of a fan of mannequins. And it still is very unsettling, still to this day. Oh no. Nah, you don't see nothing. You don't see a damn thing. Frag mines. Okay. We gotta be careful here. You 
Congress comes. Don't mind it, Piper. Okay, we do need to be a little careful here. There's Swan. People don't come back I know. I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying not to activate Swan. Because I'm definitely not ready to fight a freaking um, behemoth. Most definitely not. As long as we stay down, we should be okay. Ah, oh, the two are bot. You are freaking me out, you damn protectron. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. All right. This is where we gotta go. Park Street Station. Alright. Alright, Shadow. Sleep well, man. Holler at me later on, okay? Alright, let's do this. Let's go save Valentine. <sighs> yeah, my back. Him up. Like he ain't got no, the balls no, no, no. to just no, no, no. kill him. Good job. Oh, there's a third one, huh? Mm -hmm. Give me that. One more shot. Good deal. See what this triggerman had on him. What do you have on you? Okay. Gotta get that pistol ammo, my dude. A beer. Enamel buckets. Let's check the other bathroom. Wait, what's in here? Nothing. Pack of cigarettes.
Oh, shit. Cool. Got out of that just in time. Pumpkin. A nuka cola. Swear it just said there was a nuka. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. Give me that nuka cola. Okay. Sleep for one hour. Get my health back up. Let's go. I'm trying to be careful how much of stim packs I use. Oh, yes, I'll take that. Thank you. I will definitely take that submachine gun right there. All right, so. We got this beautiful piece of equipment right here. Disarm. Disarm. Who's there? Pop him. Trigger man down. you do <laughs> oh good job I That was a headshot.
Oosh, baby. Yes, sir. Nice one. We had to use a few stim packs, but it wasn't a complete big deal. Okay, let's loot some bodies. So we looted him. Let's loot this bastard. Yep, indeed, arena. Got another one of those. Take another one of those. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's seen some better days. Sleep one hour. Yeah, get my health back up. It might be a good idea to go the other way for right now. Okay. You'll see why. Okay, we got a triggerman right there. group of bastards here. Come on. Get that last shot. Good job. Stay down, Piper. Don't you dare do that to me, game. Game tried to pull a fast one on me there. Nah, you're not gonna do that. Ooh, an armor piercing one. Okay. That's a good submachine gun there. Did you kick their ass, Piper? Damn Skippy you did. Good job, girl. Good job. Good gerb. All right, let's see. 146 out of 260. That's not that bad. We'll eat some apples. Have 
some bubble gum. Let's see. That armor piercing submachine gun is going to be very useful. But I am going to keep all those so I can sell them. Sesame. I need this shotgun here. Time for a little bit of that. What's the matter, you? Hey, Rumble, you still awake? Or have you fallen asleep? Oh, of course, it's going to do that to me. behind me. That was a good shot right there. Get down, big boy. Don't worry, I'll be fine. shells but it's not the end of the world let's see let's go submachine gun purified water I will actually have some of that there we go that'll fully heal me Check around here real quick, see if there's anything that I need to find. Don't have the key. That requires a key. Fault 114 jumpsuits. I'll sell those. Okay. More jumpsuits. Ways, med X's. Stem pack, purified water. Okay. Go 
kill me. I love the submachine gun. Only the 45, not the, not the, like, SMG whatever shit. Oh, yeah. This is going to be interesting. Sooner or later, I am going to have to stock up on some purified water. Because that is another way that I was able to heal in the game. Alright, Piper, you'll be fine. Oh, come on, game, really? Where did the guy go? Oh. Thank you. I'm gonna need a better gun. Not yet. Let's use ten millimeter. Where'd he go? Oh, of course he's gonna go down there. Of course. job. Are you now? Ooh, he did a flip. That's what I call a flip right there, dude. Sooner or later, I am going to have to 
make some water purifying things. Piper probably will. She likes to fall in holes. Got a whiskey. Hot plate. Bobby pin box. Okay. That's pretty good. Ooh, look. Sleeping bag. I will take it. All right. Careful there, Piper. Let's see what we got there. Nothing. Telephone and a bobby pin box. Ammo bucket. Into the vault we go. Fuses. <laughs> How you doing in there, Valentine? You want to sneak? Take that, Dino. All right, I'll get the door open. Don't worry. I'll override the door controls. Let's save our partner here. Well, what's going on, partner? Let me check around for some supplies. Mm -hmm. 
Nick. Nick. Let's keep moving. Good deal. Take that duct tape. Big boy. We'll take that, thank you. Let's see here. I know I'll get irradiated, but Yeah, I know. The power of water. Ooh, carrot. Hard and loud, huh? Well, that's the job. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Do you think? much. Get him, boy. Of course, Nick gets in the freaking way. Of course, he gets in the way. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, game, really? There we go. 
level up. Let's get our last point in luck. There we go. Now we will start upgrading our actual perks. First aid kit. Cool beans. Alright. Jeez, Nick. Sleep, give us some more health. Anything in the locker? No. Oh, wait, he's got melon. I'll take the melon. Oh, uh, whiskey. Oh, those are empty whiskey bottles. Another uh, whiskey. Funny story, I'm actually a whiskey drinker, so. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fat son of a bitch, I know. Oh, really? Not bad, man. Not bad at all. Let's see. We will do that save. All right. All right, I'm back. Right, let's do this. Whatever, bitch. This ain't the old day. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? I ain't letting some private dick dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. Whatever, man. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Sure you do. Oh, 
I just want to take a snapshot of that. that he just looks cool. People in Nick, in him. Darla's a runaway. Father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out she skipped town to be with my old pal Skinny Malone. Mom was. Hmm. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over the wall. Guess life's full of them. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me. You and Nick know each other? Yeah. It's trouble making here. It used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Now quit stalling. You're gonna talk? Talk. Hmm. And peacefully. This is all just a misunderstanding, Skinny. You know that. You let us walk, and we won't come back. Well, I tell you won't. Don't you get it? All the other crews in the area will see us as a weakness. Then they'll come for me. Sorry. Time to give you both a hard goodbye. Ah, damn it. And that was one of the reasons why I saved. Because uh, sometimes you'll get it, sometimes you won't. <laughs> and it is bullshit. Total bullshit. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two time in games, Kimmy. Not to tell it right home. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to today. Shall Should have left that alone. This ain't the old baby. In this ball, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And I ain't letting some frightened dick dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. Then you had to get out of the middle. All that stupid crap out of the old times. Dog, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? And what does this guy do with you, huh? Valentine must have brought us to rub us all out. That wasn't was the plan originally, but hey, hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one, I'm one in charge here. here. You, you got, got something to say? Say it to me. Can we just end this peacefully, Skinny? Can we do it? This is all just a misunderstanding, Skinny. You know that. You let us walk? I hate this. Because here's what's funny, is even when you have, like, a lot of charisma, sometimes the game will actually fuck with you, and you'll be like, oh, I thought I could actually get away with that. But, no. Do I have anything that I can, like, use to boost uh, my damn charisma? Just to see if I can do it. No, that's strength and intelligence. Sure. This ain't the old baby. In this ball, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some frightened dick dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. Run! Run! Eh. Gotta go! Come on, my dudes! Come on, we can do it. I forgot that's actually something that I can do there. <laughs> gave him the slip. Well, kinda. We kinda gave him the slip. <laughs> hey, if someone can clip me giving him the slip like that, you know, that that'd be pretty that would be pretty nice. <laughs> I actually forgot I could do that. Ah. 
Oh, man. Fault one fourteen. Hey, I know you have hey. a hey. soul, but underground and surrounded is not the best place to talk. Up. Why did he go back into the thing? Sure, why not? Game's being kind of weird right now. Seriously? Come on, Valentine. Guess we gotta kill him. All right, I guess. Minigun time. Can we just get the fuck out of here, man? I really don't want to do this. Come on, let's just go. I don't want to... I really don't want to fight these guys. Quit going back inside, Valentine, please. It's seriously going to make me do that, isn't it? You've got to be fucking with me, game. Come on. I seriously got to deal with... Oh my god, this fucking game. Of course. Of course. Of course. So I guess I have to do it. At least I'm not in the vault anymore. I just think it's stupid that I still gotta fight fucking Skinny Malone. Alright, Piper. I used to be able to actually skip these guys, but apparently not. Apparently not.
fuck out of here, skinny. Okay. Now we can get out of here. I'm still trying to find a way to uh, clip that though, because I think everybody's asleep right now. I am going to end in a little bit though. I got. I wanted that now, snapshot. That was a nice snapshot. Tracking down a murderer. Now he took your son. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Signs. I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Let's see. Do I want to meet him there? Do I want to follow? I'll follow. Lead the way. All right. Let's move fast. Follow me. All right, let's go, Piper. Damn freaking mannequins. machine gun here. It's okay, they'll catch up sooner or later. I'm in city security.
Ah, oh, there's Piper. Okay, come on, Piper. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell some stuff first. And then I'm going to save right outside of Nick Valentine's office. And then that's where we'll pick it up the next time I want to do Fallout 4. Because uh, we're doing pretty damn good right now. Damn my back. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so let's go to our churro this time. Oh, we'll also get uh, yeah, Sheffield right. too. Maybe. Depends on who's asking. Name's Arturo. I sell protection if you're looking to buy. You know what? You know weapons. weapons. Listen, I can sell your guns, swords, whatever, and they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mask. The little person touches you. Install a scope, expand a clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, that is a very good scene right there. Very good scene. Sure. sure. Let's take a look. Feel free to test the grid. Indeed. All right. So, I'm going to sell some stuff real quick. So, let's start with the weapons. I need to want to keep that. Okay, let's see. Don't need that. Let's see. All those. Okay. Gonna sell all the jumpsuits. Let's see. Not a medics type of guy or erratic. Sets targets on fire for 15 points of damage. That's not a bad shotgun right there. That's pretty good. Old Faithful. Does double damage if the target is at full health. Okay. He might take that off of his hands. Oh, power armor free. Uh, let's see. Alright, so if I'm selling that shotgun, I only need to sell my other shotgun. So we're going to sell that. I'm just gonna get rid of the mini the minigun because I don't really plan on using it. And honestly, I need the caps a little bit more. Does he have okay, he has some aid. But not enough. Huh. Let me go back to the bullets real quick. his caps 79 caps there we go look at all those caps I got now fuck yeah dude yeah dude got some good stuff too man 
Not some real good stuff so far. Um, Alright, let me see. Do, what kind of other weapons does he have? Hunting rifle. Eh? Well, 24. 17. I kind of want those freaking knuckles. And I will sell the baton. Yeah. Yeah. Sell some and stuff. Them. There's certain things that I will keep, like duct tape and all that, and uh, anything that's adhesive. I used to keep that. Still want all his caps. Oh, got all his caps. Fuck yeah. Which huh? for me. Alright. So now we're gonna put him right outside of here. All right, so we're going to save, and then we will call it for today. We did a lot of good shit here. So yeah, this is how we're gonna, how we're gonna call it and everything. I'm back. All right, save and quit to the main menu. All right, so let's get these raid messages set up because I believe everyone is asleep. So, exclamation point raid one, exclamation point raid two. All right, so um, my next stream will be on Wednesday, which will be Soulsborn Wednesday. We will be uh, continuing more Elden Ring. We're going to be doing some stuff with darts. To try and get us closer to uh, the um, uh, last trophy that I need to platinum Elden Ring. We are going to try and raid somebody, so please stay tuned. If you are a subscriber to the channel in any kind of way, do a copy-paste of the raid 1 message. If you are not a subscriber to the channel, do a copy-paste of the raid 2 message. Let's see if we can find a good person to raid. Let's see. Okay, I know who I'm going to raid. We're going to raid a VTuber by the name of Harley Chaos. She's playing Ghost Watchers. It's been a while since I've uh, gone to hang out with her. So we are going to go raid her. Alright, so. I will see you guys on Wednesday for Soulsborn Wednesday when we do some Elden Ring. Thank you all for coming by for Fallout 4. I'll either do more of this next Monday or we'll do more Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So until then, I am your host, Onyx the Gaming Machine, and this was Random Monday, where I am back to streaming, 
and we played a little bit of Fallout 4. And until I see everyone in the next video or live stream, peace out, happy gaming, my friends, and please stay safe out there.